Hi friends, myself Dr. Darshan Jani and today we learn about important topic of chemistry that is palladium catalyzed reaction. Also don't miss to like and share the video. Also subscribe the channel Chemistry Online by Dr. Darshan Jani and hit the bell icon to get regular notification for new important videos. Let me start with uh, important and basic palladium catalyzed reaction that is Suzuki coupling right so earlier in first published Suzuki reaction there is only reaction between two main compound that is uh, aryl halide and organoboronic acid right so there are only two compound by which this palladium catalyzed Suzuki coupling is carried out but nowadays in recent development we can also use alkyl alkenyl alkynyl halides in place of aryl halide as well as potassium trifluoroborates organoborans and boronate ester can be used in place of organoboronic acid also we can utilize pseudo halide such as uh, triflates right so we should know about the structure of triflates triflate is nothing but trifluoromethane sulfonate so it is a very important and easy pseudo halides so which can be also utilized in place of aryl halide so these are the options nowadays which can be used for palladium catalyzed suzuki coupling now this is the reaction that is boronic species react with halide right in presence of palladium catalyst and base will gives compound or desired product with carbon carbon bond right there is also one example that is a boronic species again react with substituted halide in presence of two equivalent k2co3 aqueous solution tetra triphenyl phosphine palladium complex as well as benzene as a solvent and at uh, required temperature it will gives again carbon carbon bond formation and desired product now when we think about mechanism of any palladium catalyzed suzuki coupling then now it will becomes very easy to remember and understand such a uh, palladium catalyzed coupling reaction as uh, every mechanism of this reaction contains basically three step that is oxidative addition transmetallation and reductive elimination as we can see on the board so this will look very complicated but when we go through this three step then uh, every mechanism for a palladium catalyzed coupling reaction will becomes very easy so let we start this mechanism in three step as oxidative addition transmetallation and reductive elimination so we can see here general form of mechanism but we will remember this mechanism in three step as we have discussed right that is oxidative addition transmetallation and reductive elimination how let's see so friends let me start three important steps of mechanism of suzuki coupling which is helpful to memorize or remember any palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction so first step is oxidative addition so which are the important terms for uh, oxidative addition so in first oxidative addition we can say that first point that is palladium having a zero oxidation state will oxidize to palladium having oxidation state 2 that is pd0 will be converted to pd2 that is from pd01 to 3 right so first point we have to remember in oxidative addition that is palladium will oxidize to or we can also say that palladium will be converted from pd0 to pd2 right then next important point we have to remember in oxidative addition that uh, 
vinyl halide will undergo retention of stereochemistry when we used it while allylic or benzylic halide will undergo inversion of configuration how let we can see in example that process first gives cis like this while which will undergo isomerization to gives trans product as we can see that now next important part or second steps of mechanism for suzuki that is trans metallation so friends first of all we should know about definition of trans metallation so in single line we can define that uh, any organometallic reaction in which a ligand transform from one species to another species then such process is known as trans metallation how it's carried out let's see that 6 and 4 right that is 6 species 6 or reactant 6 and 4 react to gives complex 8 right in which in prior step when we move from step 3 to step 4 we are using base right so activate the organoboran compound when we are shifting from complex 3 to complex 4 here we are using sodium tertiary butoxide as a base and by this way this suzuki coupling is differ from steel coupling how that in suzuki we are using base to activate the organoboran compound right so this is again a important point to memorize or to write down during this lecture right and third and last step of mechanism that is reductive elimination so in this step what is carried out pd2 complex 8 as we can see on board that uh, pd2 complex 8 will gives product 9 that is r1 r2 cc bond formation and pd0 it will again regenerate from pd2 to pd0 so by this way this uh, suzuki coupling is proceed with retention of stereochemistry as we can see that and there is one example as a halide and a substituted boronic species right when we react it with uh, tetra triphenyl phosphonium palladium complex and uh, tetra butyl ammonium bromide and k2co3 as a base as we discussed that to activate the organoboran compound we will give product which is desired which contains cc bond so by this way or by this basic mechanism we can uh, memorize any kind of palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction so friends let we discuss about second most important reaction among palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction that is sonogasira cross coupling reaction now how this carried out let's see so first when terminal alkynes react with vinyl or aryl halide in presence of palladium catalyst and cu1 salt to gives enines right then such reaction is known as sonogasira cross coupling reaction now we should know about enines so what is enine that uh, compound containing double bond as well as triple bond then such compound are known as enines now let's see which are the favorable condition for uh, this uh, sonogasira cross coupling that is reaction is carried out at room temperature rt cu1 salt which is used which is used to reduce the explosive nature of reaction then third one is this, that cu1 salt is easily commercially available then fourth one is not very dry solvents are needed for this reaction and the last one is tetra triphenyl phosphine palladium or dichloro di triphenyl phosphine palladium complexes are used as a pd catalyst for this reaction let's see the reaction that is halide react with terminal alkyne in presence of pd0 or pd2 catalyst in presence of cu1 salt 
with the help of base it will be converted into alkyne then such a reaction is known as sonogasira cross coupling reaction let's see about the mechanism of this reaction so in a mechanism as we have discussed that uh, which is carried out in three important step first one is oxidative addition transmetallation and reductive elimination so by this three step we can easily memorize any kind of pd2 catalyzed cross coupling reaction let's see the mechanism in first step right either pd0 or pd2 complex will gives pd0 oxidation state of palladium as we see that uh, it will be oxidized in this step to pd2 and uh, by reaction with uh, this halide compound in oxidative addition this will gives such type of complex now again in second important step that is transmetallation what will happen this uh, alkyne compound may complex with uh, cux that is cu1 salt when this complex is react with base this base will abstract proton in form of hx to give such compound and when this compound is react with this complex then cux will remove and we will get such type of compound so by this reaction we can easily carry out the meaning of transmetallation here we can see that ligand transform from one species to another species then such reaction or such process is known as transmetallation as we discuss in earlier reaction now in last step what will happen again this pd0 will be converted to sorry pd2 will be converted to pd0 or we can also say that pd2 to pd0 regenerate with the removal of product that is r1 triple bond r2 or we can also say that alkyne is a product and this reaction or this process particularly is known as reductive elimination so by this way we can easily remember this important sonogasira cross coupling reaction so friends let we discuss about third important reaction of palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction that is a hack reaction so hack reaction can be defined as it is palladium catalyzed aryylation or alkynylation it is palladium catalyzed aryylation or alkynylation which are the important points of uh, hack reaction that is mono substituted olefin will be converted into di substituted olefin by hack reaction the rate of reaction is mainly influenced by substitution of olefins right whether the bulky group is substituted to the olefins or not that is substitution of olefin will influence the rate of reaction and last last one is unsymmetrical olefin substitute at least substituted carbon right so these are the four important points for hack reaction then if we think about a reaction then halide will react with unsubstituted alkene as we can see on the board which is catalyzed by palladium catalyst in presence of base so it will be converted into substituted alkene let we think about uh, <coughs> mechanism of this hack reaction then mechanism involve again three simple step that is oxidative addition transmetallation and reductive elimination how let's see that palladium 0 or palladium 2 complex will be converted into pd0 then in oxidative addition it will first convert pd0 to pd2 by reacting with halide it will give such type of complex now what will happen this complex will undergo undergo migratory syn insertion with alkene what is syn insertion that is this complex will add it to the alkene from any one of the side right either above the plane or below the plane as we know that uh, 
alkene is a planar molecule now what will happen after addition after migratory scene addition this uh, alkene will undergo carbon carbon bond rotation as we can see from this structure to this structure right there is a carbon carbon bond rotation after carbon carbon bond rotation what will happen this structure will undergo scene beta hydride elimination what is again C beta hydride elimination that is hydrogen will liberate or loss from beta position and scene elimination that is again eliminate from the same side either above the plane or below the plane to give such substituted alkene as a product and this complex will undergo reaction with base to give PD0 or to regenerate PD0 by elimination or removal of HX as a byproduct. So by this way we can easily understand the important palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction that is Heck cross coupling reaction. Now remaining cross coupling reaction will be solved in next lecture. Also friends don't miss to like and uh, share the video also subscribe the channel chemistry online by Dr. Darsanjani hit the bell icon to get uh, regular notification for important videos and uh, maximum share this video so MSc student can get benefit of such type of important video lectures thank you thank you very much